Bag fuel, baby. But it wasn't that I was like trying to have beef with Murder Inc. It was just that I always was a big fan of 50 Cent. Way before he even put out How to Rob uh, mm-hmm. or whatever. Like we go way, way mm-hmm. back. I've just always been a fan of his talent. Like the nigga could rap. Like the nigga was dope. He was just any so right for Sweet Tea in the studio all the time. So mm-hmm. see him at Jimmy Henchman's studio writing for Sweet Tea. So I was always a fan. He, so when he got hit and he survived it and everybody was talking about it and then he had this crazy ass mixtape out, if y'all remember. Of course. Mm-hmm. I go crazy like, yo, Chris, we got to sign this shit. Like <laughs> we, the nigga is hot. Like why wouldn't we sign it? Like he got shot and survived it. So that's his street cred. Yeah. People, that, that. That's, that's the up. business side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, yeah. listen. Yeah. Yeah. That was going. that was that was he survived it. That was his stamp. And so I was like, yo, I want, you know, I want I want to sign. He was like, yo, nigga, why you want to go against Irv? And I was like, yo, I have no, no beef with Irv. Irv is my nigga. I fuck with Irv. I fuck with Chris. I fuck with everybody. I just want to sign this nigga. They got they got to be able to determine their real street beef from this music, music shit. Mm-hmm. Mm. And you know, finally, Chris. After telling me no twice, he decided to. What f- changed his mind? I wanted to ask. The, 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 the mixtape just heated up so hard that the, yeah. the like at first it was when, it came, when it though. first came out. I mean, you know, I, I'm 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 a hip hop head. I'm a street nigga. When the shit first it, dropped, you getting it early. I got it first, and I I prided myself on getting every Everything. artist, every beat, every mm-hmm. everything before everybody. First. Because that, was, that you had to. Yo, yo, that was our badge of on. I got this shit first. first. You fucking. Yeah. Like, but but like if self-service or any of these niggas, Swiss beats, any of them mm-hmm. running around with a beat on their tape. You wanna have it. I wanna know that I could Buy I gotta it. crack at it first before anybody else. So I took every meeting, I listened to everything. I was so mm-hmm. when it, when he dropped the, the mixtape. Fifth dropped the mixtape. I was on it before the shit heated up, and I was like, "Yo, Chris, this shit gonna go crazy, bro. We gotta, we gotta sign this first. No, second, no, third time. He was like, "Fuck it, we can't, we can't shake it no more. We gotta do it." And I wanted to compete. You gotta remember, Rockefeller had Rockefeller had Jay Z and Bleak Beans. and Beans. Mm-hmm. Murder, Cam. Can't, yeah, Murder Inc had Murder Inc had Jai and Shanti. Shanti. I'm thinking, everybody was piled. I was like, "Yo, Foxy really wasn't fucking with us like that no more." I created a violated compilation album, but I needed to have an yeah. artist that was attached to me that was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah, was that was popping too. I want I want to I want to fight. I want to compete too. I want to stick my chest out too. I want to go to club tonight and be like, yeah, nigga, what? Like, because yeah. everybody else is doing everybody it. Everybody else mm-hmm. is doing it. Yo, so, that's a fact. So, but it, but it, but it had nothing to do with trying to be nah. in that. And 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 it wasn't. It, and the only one that really came to me and respected it was Chris Gotti. I knew he was going to say yeah. Chris. Chris Gotti said, listen, E, I ain't mad at you, bro. And I was like, I appreciate you saying, he said, I ain't mad at you because, you know, you was trying to do business. You wasn't trying to put on a bulletproof vest and get in the street with us. You was trying to, you know, you mm. was you was trying to do business. And niggas can't hush, knock, and he said, and, and now look at this shit. This shit is five, 10 times platinum, nigga, that's business. Yeah. You were supposed to do that. And so I ain't got no problem with you now. If you would have jumped in the street with us, and then, th- then it would have been different. But you not. What's the difference between? I'm, I, I gotta jump in. Yeah. What's the difference? Because everybody has the, Chris and Irv are tight brothers. Right? Yeah, they're brothers. Uh-huh. But they're and they're real brothers. So so that y'all know, mm-hmm. although they look alike, y'all know they're real brothers. Uh-huh. Why is it, what's the stark difference between them both? Because even through the turmoil yeah. and everything, yeah. people look Can at I, Chris totally different than they look at Irv, I'm although gonna let you he finish. backs Irv. I'm going to say this real quick. Chris Gotti, I've never heard one person say a bad word about him. Because to be totally honest with you, Chris Gotti is a very cool motherfucker. Yeah, bro. Not you one really, person. If you really, really sit down and you kick it to the nigga, the nigga, you know, the nigga seen me a couple of, couple of months ago at a... Um, at a DJ drama release party, mm. right? We was down, we was on Twenty Sixth Street or something like that, and the nigga yeah. seen me. Said, yo, E, what up? Night, I saw, I'm, I'm yeah. Here, yeah, he said, he, yeah, he was there. Uh-huh. He said, yo, he said, yo, E, he said, yo, E, what up, bro? I said, yo, what's up? He said, yo, I got a table over in the corner. Come fuck with me, my nigga. Mm. For no reason, like, and and violator and. Violator, you know, I'm violator for life. Yeah. No matter what, I don't give a fuck. I, I stamped that shit to this day. I'm violator for life. Violated Murder Inc. never healed that drama. Like it never healed that beef. But like he is just so such a cool motherfucker. He understand that this shit is business and this shit ain't personal. 
that he's like, yo, come, nigga, come chill with me at the table. It's me and my niggas over there. If you want to come fuck with me, come fuck with me. And I'm walking around with a brand new artist trying to introduce Black Pearl to the whole world. And, you know, like, I'm about to do a deal. I was about to do, at the time, about to do a deal with Monarch, and I did it now, and I'm mm -hmm. in it. But, like, I was trying to walk him around and introduce him to everybody. And he was like, yo, come fuck with me. Because Irv Gotti's just a cool, I mean, Chris is a cool motherfucker. Irv also has the same qualities. Have you ever really split? Irv is like this, though. Irv is like, I'm going to give y'all niggas some, I'm going to be cool with y'all motherfuckers in the beginning. Mm. But the second that I feel you moving funny, he ain't fucking with you. Mm -hmm. And I, you got to respect that, right? Like, And so he didn't know. All he heard was Eric is trying to save 50. Or Eric is, and I don't want to say save because 50 was yeah. fine. Er, Eric is trying to sign 50 to violate that. And when you hear that and you think about it, you'd be like, yo, I'm mad cool with this nigga. Why would this nigga do this, right? Yeah. Knowing that, you know, the shit that we're going through is some real shit. And it wasn't, it, it, and, and so everybody don't have the mentality of thinking is just how about business. this? Were you aware of how deep the animosity was between them because everybody no knew. Everybody I mean knew. everybody okay. knew okay yeah. just there was not the, it was not a secret everybody knew from the day that that they was at this summer jam quote unquote this is before I even got in the game this mm. is what I came up to hearing mm -hmm. it was at the summer jam and Fifty tried to say something to Jaru and Jaru threw his hand up and kept walking. That's the that, that's the that's the quote unquote time where they claim mm -hmm. that the disrespect started. And you asked Jaru, Jaru was like, I was high. I wasn't thinking about nobody else. I threw my hand up, and that's where they claim that the beef initially started from that day. I, I don't really know how it started. I don't know where it stemmed yeah. from. I don't know where, like, cause I'm a Brooklyn nigga. I'm not a Queens nigga. Yeah. So I don't, and and I always remove myself from the street shit because I don't want like if you come in and you talking to me about street shit, nigga, I'm an executive now. I'm not in the street. <laughs> I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> nah, you feel me? Like, yeah, I'm, time, I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, a I'm an executive, nigga. I say the same shit. Now. You know? I ain't got nothing to do with the street. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a YouTube. I'm a podcast. Yeah. So we talking about? I, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want no drama. I don't want no nigga. I, I, I enjoy my whole career moving around by myself. Mm -hmm. Never ever had a problem with nobody. Never had a, no mm -hmm. no issues with nobody. No nothing. So. You know, when you came to me talking about street shit, yeah, I don't want to hear that. Like, let's talk about this record, though. Yeah. Or we talk about this marketing plan, or we talk about this video, or we talk about this mixtape, or we talk about, but I don't want to hear nothing about, you know, you, you, you know, you and this nigga about to go, you know, bang out in the street. Like, nah, I ain't, I don't, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to be a part That's of That's interesting, because you, you were with 50, and he loves that shit. Fifth, he loved that talk. Fifth, no, fifth, he, fifth, Even though he's fifth, business. Fifth, fifth, to be totally honest with you, fifth ain't. By any stretch of imagination, a sucker at all. Never. Uh. But Fifth wanted to level up to where he's at. He always had this vision mm -hmm. of leveling up to be where he's at right now. He wasn't really particularly looking for the street shit, but he also didn't want to be punked or be sunned either. Mm -hmm. So, and I, and I think that was the staunch difference between the two is that, yeah, nah, like I ain't nobody's son. Fifth, Fifth always looked at himself as a boss. Mm -hmm. And as you can see now, he's a big ass boss. Mm -hmm. And so when you got two personalities who are bosses, Irv, Fifth, you know that's gonna bound the clash. They from the same part of town or whatever. That's they, 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 they gonna is it is it bound to crash or whatever? And I'm just happy that real talk. I'm just happy that nobody lost their life. If they don't fuck with each other. They probably will never fuck with each other. Mm -hmm. But I'm just happy that in that particular beef. Nobody actually lost a like. Well, I don't think they did. Like lost a. I don't. I don't know how to stay out of the street shit. But whatever. Yeah.